All right, so after wrestling with this uh, more times and for longer than I would care to admit, um, I just wanted to show how um, uh, using some uh, methods maybe you, you aren't already using um, to, to learn another language. Um, I think most of the people who will be interested in the contents of this video will be trying to learn English, uh, and that's why I'm going to talk a little bit slow uh, and try to pronounce everything very clearly. Um, but for me personally, um, I am always trying to improve my Russian language abilities, and one of my favorite games that I have ever played, uh, it turns out it's a 12-year-old game this year, is The Witcher. And this is a, uh, a role-playing game we're going to look at. Uh, it's based on a series of novels by a Polish author. I believe his name is Andrzej Sapkowski. Um, and uh, I have an account on uh, Steam, uh, the, the game uh, platform Steam, and uh, maybe a year ago, maybe less, I think I was still in Russia at the time, um, I went through my Steam account and I tried to find as many games as I could that had uh, some type of Russian language. Uh, usually I would look for something with both words uh, in text that I could read um, and also something I could listen to. And The Witcher happened to be one of those games. Um, and so... Uh, Tonight, I was just playing this for fun. Um, I've pretty much just done a lot of uh, a lot of work. I've been making flashcards today. Um, I've been, um, you know, studying in my um, personal training book, um, doing a, a lot of stuff I, I don't even remember now. Did a little bit of yard work, helped my uh, my mom and my stepdad out um, with a bugen, bugenvilla, which is a, it's a tree with these spikes. Anyways, uh done a lot today so I just thought I would relax but then I saw this and I thought I have to make a video um, so we're looking at this is just the menu that comes up when you press escape um, and I've done this test so many times I've just kept the game open um, and what we're going to look at here is uh, what in English is called the tutorial um, and the tutorial um, kind of sounds like tutor a little bit is the part of the game that teaches you how to play and what is really useful um, in terms of language learning is um, there's a couple things going on here um, a lot of times the tutorial will not let you do anything except the one thing it wants you to do it's going to give you some command or some instruction and usually there's a verb that's important uh, in a command or instruction. That's why we have what's called an imperative form um, of various verbs. And it can be really useful because it stops you from playing the game. The game is fun. You want to get at the fun. Your brain likes the fun. You know, it's going to, uh, your brain is going to reward you when you keep playing the game. So um, your brain is also very good at figuring out and making connections between what let you have more fun? How did you how did you continue with the game? Um, and in this case, it's going to it's going to have something to do with um, uh, with what they want me to do. So um, this is the tutorial. This is Care Morhen. Um, I'm not sure how far into the game this is. I think it's maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more. Um, uh, these guys are kind of standing around waiting for me to go in that door. Vchod Krepast. Uh, Krepast is uh, a type of uh, castle, I guess, in uh, in Russian. Um, so when I first loaded this up, I was standing over here, and I couldn't remember. I haven't played this game in probably a few months. Actually, I haven't played it since late last year. Uh, I was in Russia, as I said. So I want to talk to this guy. Uh, he's talking to Tris. His name is Vesemir. Uh, Vesemir is my uh, like mentor slash friend. Um, so let's see what he has to say. And I've watched this several times, so I've figured out other words uh, while I've been trying to figure out what to do. Oh my gosh. They're locked in conversation. Okay, 
just said something about a mage, I think. I think Mog is like a like a wizard of some kind. But let's talk to Vesemir. He said, uh, my character says, what do these elixirs do? Uh, Grom is one. He says something about, I think, the body or your whole body. And it says something about extreme situations. So it's and something about adrenaline. Uh, complicated, concentrated for defense. And lost I don't know what that means at all. And then he says thank you. So um, he's done something like that. So let's talk to Leo. Why his name isn't Leov, I, I don't know. Um, says, are you ready, Geralt? That's my character's name. Uh, yes, is this your first fight? No, but it's the first time I killed him. Um, stay close. Great. Sounds great. So let's go. Let's move on with the game. Let's have a little bit of fun. Oh, no. Geralt, Geralt says, wait, what is this? What happened? Inside, inside there might be some strong something or other. He says, drink Grom, I think, uh, that was given to you by Vesemir. Um, and I don't know what that meant uh, on my screen. Is it Zaberta or something like that? I have no idea what it means. Um, mind you, I'm still learning Russian, right? So, um, here's where the learning comes in, right? We click on the door. He still yeah, fires through, so we click through because we're getting really annoyed with this guy. Um, so I'm going to press shift, which lets me move my mouse around. Now, I already know about that because I've played this game a long time ago, a lot. Um, and we're going to go over here to this little bag icon. In English, this would probably say inventory. I don't know. Um... I can't hear someone say it, so I'm not sure exactly what it sounds like, but that's probably inventory. Um, I just looked up this verb the other day, uh, which means this is reinforcing. Shoknitia is to click, you know, with your with your mouse. Levoy knopkoi mishi. Leva to the left. Knopka is a button. Um, and then mishi is like of the mouse. Shtobi atkrit akno snarijenia. Um, in order to open the window of inventory. That's exactly what we want to do, um, because we want to get back to the fun, right? Um, so what do we have here? Sumka, that's our bag. Um, so I think he wants me to drink this. So I right-click, and that does the thing. Oh, look at that. I think I just did it. I hope I just did it, or else this video is going to be really long, and I'm going to have to edit it. Um... And it says some other things. I don't know what it says, but it's good things, right? Um, da, 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 these are all some very large words for me. Uh, it says something about putting the cursor of the mouse on some icon in order to receive... Okay, more information about Vazdeistvi, which is, I guess this is a status of some kind. Um active status that must be icons of active status because we we just saw that big see this is why video games are great so it put that big icon over the screen and then it zoomed into the uh it kind of went over to the left and so we're going to look at um and there it says yeah Vipil elixir i drank the thing and look at that okay it tells us something it looks like it'll last for it's a last for eight hours so uh, <coughs> excuse me I don't really have to be in a rush to figure out what this means necessarily. I can sit here and read this for a second. Uh, okay. So the only thing I recognize here is na na sto procentov, and I think maybe the second word there, Vili, is probably great. Like uh, Velika Britannia is uh, Great Britain. Uh, Grom I think means like strong or loud or something like that. Very uh, utmost. I don't know what the rest of this means, but uh, something something good's happening. Uh, Leo's back here saying, "Let's go." I'm sick of waiting for you. Um, and before we go in, I need to figure out how do you. This is I, I have already been playing around with this, so I've been looking at this thing. So I don't know if I need to click on that or not. But see, now it lets me in. Now I'm back to the fun, and your my brain is give, is saying like. Okay, you did what you wanted to do. Here's some rewards, and so it's gonna, your your brain's just gonna kind of naturally figure out um, 
some of the language by doing that. Все баллады, Лютика, о тебе. Uh, Ламберт всегда говорит, что я никогда okay, не буду таким же быстрым, как настоящий ведьмак. Но сегодня, some когда мы тренировались, у меня получилось его ударить. Ты ударил Ламберта? Мы фехтовали, когда началась эта страшная буря. Ламберт отвлекся. Я сделал Sorry, пируэт и ударил его lessons, в живот. So Конечно же, он не упал. И потом talk, побил меня. Дай-нибудь ты станешь хорошим фехтовальщиком. Я знаю, каждый раз, когда Ламберт наносит мне удар, он I'm говорит, что у меня есть потенциал, а потом смеется. So anyways, uh, what did he tell me about? I have no idea what he said. So, um, if I wasn't making a video, um, then I would... В режиме третьего лица... Важный нажим майте, клавиши... Что бы... So I think it's talking about positioning, you know, around these guys. Oh, these guys are really tough. Guys. Okay, I'm in the wrong style. Um, I have to figure out how to. Okay, there we go. I looked at some of these earlier. So to attack these guys, I have to use the right style. So actually, um, this is really good for uh, really good game for kind of figuring out what some of these words mean. Because if I'm using the wrong sword fighting style, then I can't do anything. But if I'm using the right one, then I can do damage. And so some of the best games are gonna basically um, they're gonna kind of force you to do the right, what they want you to do, um, and you'll be able to learn some of the language by following the instructions. So there we go. Uh, we got something done. We got a little fight going on. That's great. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna save, probably in case I see something else. Пустая ячейка. See, that's an empty slot. I know пустой. So, I've never seen this word before, but it's some kind of save slot. Ячейка. And maybe I'll look that up later and add it to a flashcard program. If, you know, you can do that if you're still using flashcard programs. I personally don't for Russian, but I use it for other things. Um, but with all that said, I think this is probably long enough. So we'll call it there. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and um, don't hesitate to reach out if, if you want some advice or, um, you know, maybe this game isn't for you, but um, anyways, uh, maybe if you, you know, if you want some help about uh, how to incorporate something like this, um, just reach out, send me a message. Thank, thanks a lot.